Behind the king, an ethereal ice maiden inside an aqua globe drifted from the edge of the forest and rose into the air above his troops. As Navira rose higher, she threw open her arms and announced, I am the wizardess of the forest of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Some people call it the Lost Forest. Seeing Jaren's and other people's attention focusing behind him, Kosar whipped his head around before turning back to Tarkin and demanding, What chicanery is this? Tarkin merely shrugged and kept his eyes trained on Navira. Although she could be seen clearly right across the valley, her voice did not carry to Jaren's troops. But deep in the midst of Jaren's army, Jacon and Rostin recognized their cue and exclaimed loudly, Look, that's the wizardess from the forest of yesterday, today and tomorrow. The wizardess from the lost forest. The message passed like wildfire through Jaren's troops, and in moments every eye was trained on the Vera hanging within the aqua of Danton's shield in the air above them. As they watched, flames sprang up on the ground along the perimeters of two squares in which the bulk of Jaren's and Kosar's troops were standing. The flames were not so big or fierce that men panicked, but the heat made them back away. Suddenly, an enormous pulse of bright green power obscured Jaren's army, while black power, dark as ink, enveloped Kosar's. The earth seemed to shrug as the air thrummed and a detonation resounded down the valley. When the air cleared, 19,000 men had disappeared. <laughs>